Hello everyone, my name is Mohamed Radwan. I'm a Visual Studio ELM MVP and Senior ELM Consultant at Marvel ILM. Uh, okay, today I will introduce the Team Explorer 2012. So, uh, Team Explorer is one of the major chains that introduced in TFS or Team Foundation Server 2012. And there are a lot of new change and feature enhancement introduced in this uh, version or team explorer so uh, we can't cover all this feature and the enhancement in one or two videos so this video try to highlight the main significant uh, change and the new enhancement introduced in team explorer 2012 so just to consider that team explorer has a new experience that you need to work with to start to get this experience while you are working agenda First, we'll describe what is the Team Explorer for those people that didn't know what is the Team Explorer. Then, we will describe the Team Explorer enhancement and the new features. After that, we will have a demo on this feature and the new enhancement. So, what is the Team Explorer? As you may already know, the Team Foundation server has many clients, uh, like Microsoft Excel, Microsoft the Project, Team Web Access, including Team Explorer, but Team Explorer considered as a primary client for Team Foundation Server. There are a lot of change, enhancement, new and emerging feature in the new Team Explorer 2012. For example, bending change window merged with the Team Explorer itself. At the beginning, I didn't believe it. I, I just tried to open the bending change and I just realized that it opened the Team Explorer or inside the Team Explorer. So there is no bending change window as before in the T Team Foundation Server 2012. Also, there is new windows added to the Team Explorer. For example, my work is completely new window that added to Team Explorer 20. In this post, I will try to focus on the Team Explorer itself and delay any explanation or speaking on the new or merged window on upcoming posts and videos so for any talk about these new windows or merged window it will be an example of the capabilities that exist for all features in the team explorer team explorer enhancement as i mentioned before i will explain only the main significant uh, new feature and the change in the team explorer so i will start by introducing the new architecture uh, it's web-based architecture and how this reflect on navigation and extensibility. I will introduce the work item search, uh, new and emerged windows, on-demand data retrieval like paging, smart command and context-driven, and how Team Explorer become intelligent to just show the needed commands and section, uh, reducing modality and how this reflect on the performance, a lot of performance and async operation uh, that uh, enhancing uh, the, the usability and the response of the Team Explorer. Eventually, I will introduce and explaining the role pack in the UI. The first and the main enhancement of the Team Explorer was the architecture. The new architecture is based on web-based architecture. The older version of the Team Explorer was based on tree node architecture, was very limited in extensibility. Brian Harry mentioned that it is was overly constrained when he start making the team foundation bar tool whenever he wants to add a new functionality to the team explorer he just had to add a new node to uh, the tree which increased the complexity of the whole tree and the team explorer the new team explorer is based on uh, web based architecture so it's considered as a, a main container that has multiple pages and each page has a link inside this container it may be related command for each page the page itself it is a container that has multiple section and commands Each section is a window that has multiple commands and window items that interact with the TFS and give us different functionality. Finally, the Team Explorer has a text for searching inside the work items. Right now, 
uh, this search and just search inside the work item but Microsoft they may consider to add uh, functionality to search inside different pages and section uh, for the team explorer in the next releases of the Visual Studio and Team Foundation server navigation and extensibility we can see here the page navigation uh, at the top uh, section we have a refresh button uh, a home button that can bring us to the home page at any point of time we have back and forward that we can use to move back and forward from different pages and section uh, we have also the text box that we use to search inside the work items uh, and we have the pages uh, of uh, the different capability of the team explorer and each page has a, a, a sub uh, a top uh, level link that under the page this architecture gives us the extensible uh, capability as the following we can add a new page to the navigation structure itself we can add a new section to an existing page or add a top level link to the home page we can also add a secondary link beneath an existing top level item in the home page as we can see it is nice to understand the architecture of the team explorer but if you plan to develop an extension for the team explorer it is very important to understand this architecture new and merged windows with the team explorer there is a merged window like pending change uh, like i mentioned before i didn't believe it at the first time so when I, whenever you open the pending change you will find it open inside the team explorer there is also a new window introduced in Team Explorer 2012, which is uh, my work. Uh, it will be explained later in in upcoming posts and videos. On the one data retrieval paging, uh, as we may already know about paging, why we retrieving all data? Uh, why we just needing uh, some of them? So uh, the Team Explorer try to uh, minimize the data needed as you needed them so the first time you open the team explorer it will not uh, bring all data like before in the old version you have to wait to bring all reports from the reporting server all documents from the sharepoint so uh, now uh, it doesn't retrieve anything and when you start double click to open the reports it will just uh, open the reporting and start retrieving the, the report as needed smart commands and context driven one of the pretty feature because it enhances the UI by reducing the complexity of the UI through not showing the command and section that no need for them uh, at the moment for example the check-in policy will not show unless there is a violation for example the associated work items it will just show if there is a violation of it and so on the check-in notes it is very smart to just show what is really needed reducing modality one of the main thing that we really hate about visual studio and team foundation server is the model dialog boxes because they not let us using the visual studio and team foundation server while they are there especially if the model is taking the time to finish its task so there are a lot of improvement in the team explorer 2012 to reduce mortality as much as possible for example the bending change window we don't need to wait for the whole bending and change window to finish so we can use the visual studio also if the bending change is successful it will just show the message and it will not be a model so it will not just take the control of the visual studio and you still be able to use the visual studio and uh, ignore this message also if there is any violation of the code analysis or anything uh, like this it will not be a model so you can ignore this message and you can still use the visual studio without responding to this message performance and async operations microsoft worked very hard to move long running tasks to background threads whenever possible also there are a lot of improvement in operations 
a response so we can achieve responsive UI. This made by increasing the number of async operation. As we will see, there is old async operations and there is new uh, async operations. This made by increasing the number of async operations that interact with the TFS with reducing modality feature. So it is uh, reducing modality with async operation working together to give a responsive UI. The old and already async operation are history, annotate, source control, explorer. The new async operations are check-in, as we already uh, saw, uh, editing a file, find shelf set, shelf set details, and the change set details, file compare using the diff merge tool, and the open the work guide. Rollback in UI. First, rollback was part of the TFS power tool at the third party, but now it is included in the box of the Visual Studio and Team Explorer 2012. So we just can uh, roll back from the UI, no command line needed. Let's see the demo. Let's create a new MVC project. I will call MVC I will accept the default templates which is internet okay. let's open the team explorer create a new team project Marvel LM Okay. When we open the Marvel LM team project, as we can see, it will not loading all the reports from the reporting server or uh, the documents from the SharePoint. It will just open the main home page. And if we start opening the reports, it will just retrieving the reports on demand and, and so on. If we look at the architecture as we mentioned, so here the architecture is web-based architecture. So we have here the navigation, home, uh, pack and forward, refresh. Here the search work items and here is the pages as we mentioned. And this will give us the extensibility that we mentioned before. There is also a new and emerged uh, windows like work item is a new window introduced in Team Explorer 2012. The bending change also is merged in the Team Explorer. So, if we try to open the bending change as before, it will just open in the Team Explorer. So, it is merged in the Team Explorer. Let's see smart and context driven. First, let's add this project to the source control. So if we go to the team explorer and go to the bending change to check in this code, let's close this. We can see here there is no extra section. We only have these four sections. So if I just go to the settings and enable the check in notes. For example, problem review. Let's go to the bending change again. We can see here that the node start appear. Again, to enable checking policy, for example, association with work items. We can see here that now we have the note and we have the policy warning. So it has become very smart to just to show what is you really need while you are working. Return. Close the settings.
and talk about reducing the modality so if we go to the bending change and start checking our code now we can see while checking I still using be able to use the Visual Studio without any problem and also after the success there is no model that takes the control to tell me that my code has successfully check in so I can still working and ignore this message or at any point of time I can go and close this message it has a lot of reducing of the modality to roll back a new eye to roll back a new eye let's, let's go to the control and adding here Checking my code. Right click here and roll back. Find. So it will roll back this file as we can see from the UI. At the end, I would like to thank you for watching this video and I will be more than happy to answer any inquiry or questions.